Two. Three. We don't worry about it. My shit's broken. I'm ready. Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> Oh no, my shit! It's broken! Classic, classic little bit. Our shit, sorry. Our shit. Let's be real though, why did they stack cement bricks on the table? Kids are just really dumb, man. I mean, like adults are really dumb too, to be honest. But like 10 year old kids, they probably had some cement bricks and then they said like, let's see how many like our table can hold. They didn't think about the, the end game, which is like what happens when it doesn't hold. I need some context on this. Maybe it's before your time, the ugly guys. So it's a classic YouTube video of a couple of kids that are probably like 11 years old. They're stacking a bunch of cement bricks on a table. And then it breaks, because of course it does. And then the one kid says, Oh no, our table! It's broken! <laughs> oh, man. It was indeed a glass, a glass table. As I recall, it was a horror film. <laughs> insanely, insanely loud shattering noise. <laughs> oh, yeah. One second, man. One second. One second. <laughs> it's only 24 oh, no, seconds. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Kitty. Kitty. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Our table! It's broken! <laughs> Kids are so funny, dude. <laughs> I forgot it's like in the... It has like phases. Like first the... They were stacking them on eggs. Like all the bricks crush the eggs. And then the bricks go tumbling down. And then the table collapses under the weight of the bricks. <laughs> it shatters. Oh, just kill me. That wasn't even close. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. It is so loud. <laughs> they were, those motherfuckers were right for the wrong reasons, man. Loud does equal funny. Whoo, that's a good one. Which one's funnier, that video or the cop flying down the slide? It's the table video. The cop one is still really good. You ever see the I can break this these cuffs video? That's another all-time classic. I can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs. <laughs> we appreciate your cooperation now. I can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs. <laughs> We appreciate your cooperation. You ever see the evolution of dance? No joke, we had a friend in university. It was like clockwork. Anytime he got like two moosehead loggers in him, he's like, you guys gotta see this video. Dude straight up goes to YouTube sorts by most viewed all time. Here we go, evolution of dance, check it out. Motherfucker's doing the damn robot now. Who would have thought? You ever see the LARPers who found a dead body? We were in the middle of our tournament where my friend John said he found a body in the bushes over there. I ran over there because I'm a healing monk to try and help, but obviously my magic wasn't strong enough because the dude's body was missing a head. So my friend decided to try and use a necromancer spell, which didn't work, which I knew it wouldn't. And apparently we contaminated the crime scene because that spell uses a lot of glitter. Yeah, but that guy's a comedian. Graham, whatever his name is. He's the dude doing the divorced dad uh, pack openings. It's still funny, but I'm here to tell you it's, it's a fabrication. It's not a... I don't want to say it's fake, because that's like saying like Saturday Night Live is fake. But it's, it's, a, it's a confabulation. It's a bit. 
What videos do you get recommended on YouTube? I don't know. Hey, hang on. I, oh, I, I can't pause this. I could alt tab for a second. Plox Ness Music Beach. Stephen King's honest opinion about The Shining. Review bra, but it's a Midwest emo intro. What the hell? Midwest, mid Midwestern emo? They're spying on my damn microphone? Vines that cure my anxiety. Abstract liquid background video, no sound, 4K Ultra HD. Like, they're scraping the bottom of the barrel, man. I don't even know what's going on. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Do you ever watch Ludwig on YouTube? I just sweat. You're, you realize you're answering this question in response to a man who just said, like, I don't watch YouTube. To, to be more accurate, I almost... I, I might watch a video on YouTube, but I never go... Like, chat the kind of mf -er to go, Huh, what are we going to watch today? And type YouTube.com into their taskbar or their URL bar. See? I can do the kind of mf -er jokes that you guys do, too. Chat the kind of mf -er to go, Huh, let's see what's on the old boob tube. And now the kind of mf -er to pay for cable. Okay, that's also true. That's also why I'm trying to watch every sport in existence, because I'm already paying for the sports channels in order to watch the Canucks games. What about piracy? Have you ever seen those sports piracy websites? My information is, is worth more to me than the cost of the cable subscription. Not to mention my sanity at looking at the kind of detritus that ends up in the live chat. Those li live chats are messed up. Dude, I'm telling you, I don't know what it is. People are like, I love sports. Then they get home and drink like two Lakeport Ices and all of a sudden they're talking about like, you know, racist diatribes in the damn Washington Capitals versus Florida Panthers. They go to work the next day. They're like, hey, what'd you do last night? Ah, it was just chilling. You weren't chilling. You were trying to incite a damn riot. It really does, like, it breaks for so long. It breaks for like two and a half full seconds. Well, two, two full seconds and a half, I guess. <laughs> the sound is not of this world. <laughs> like, I'm used to something breaking and it's like, break! But it's like, it breaks forever, man. Oh, whatever. just kill me. I don't want to. I also haven't seen the Banshees of Inna Sharon, but I did see a tweet of that scene where uh, the dude says, there goes that dream. I'm glad I caught you, actually. Because there was something I was wanting to ask you, actually. And discovering how much we have in common, well, just makes me want to ask you even more. We don't have anything in common. Uh, don't skip ahead. Yeah, what I was wanting to ask you was something along the lines of should have planned this really. But yeah, what I was wanting to ask you was you probably wouldn't ever want to, I don't know, to fall in love with a boy like me, would you? No, Dominic, I don't think so, love. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Just thought I'd ask in the off chance, you know, like, faint heart and that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes that dream. Well, I best go over there and do whatever that thing over there I was going to do was. Mm hmm. And the, the quote tweet was just Riz so bad he killed himself. <laughs> I can appreciate the, the gravitas of the, of the movie, but the quote tweet is also amazing, man. It's, oh, man. Oh. Riz so bad he killed himself. Oh, I, I love the idea. It's it's half that the phrase is funny, and half that I, I absolutely love the idea of 
like, oh, what have I done? Like summarizing all media criticism in such a, a reductive fashion. It's so good. Hey, did you see the, the sports gambling video of Carlos Boozer? But um, his beard looks like it was taken from an Xbox Live avatar. What up with that? It's... <laughs> Can you get, like, your beard microbladed? Is that what happened there? Or does he just have, like, really, really thick hair to the point where maybe it's kind of working against him? Boozer used to use that head paint when he was in the league. <laughs> oh, man. Me when I see my favorite streamer at TwitchCon. So I'm thinking of that video of the guy who's like, uh, we've exchanged some messages. I just wanted to make sure it was the real you. I can't be too careful. And then the lady's like, let's look at the profile. Yeah, that's not me. And he's like, <laughs> Oh, man. I was laughing. I, I give props to Americans all the time, by the way. America's a land of extremes. I do think that the laziest people in the world probably live in America. They're called billionaires. <laughs> but also, I do feel like the hardest working people of all time live in America. I feel like the average middle-aged American, after they finish work, is like, what do I do now? That's why when one of the Peloton members yesterday was like, I work two jobs remotely, I replied, I said, world's uh, laziest American. That was my old man, get off work and be like, we get ready, we gotta go fix the car. My old man was more like this. No, my dad wasn't the guy saying my table is broken. My dad was the bricks. I was the table. My father was a stacker. He would drink. He would womanize. He would make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. Sometimes he would accuse chestnuts of being lazy. Don't start the singing, then you can't stop. So true. When you were young, you were the king of Austin Powers. And now you kidnap Nigel Powers as his foe to get the man of mystery to show. This is the room one afternoon where Fat Bastard ate you. And how Felicity Shagwell shagged him real well to place a homing device where no one dared to dwell.